Top of the morning to you, or afternoon or evening, whenever you may be watching. My name is Scott, I represent the SLN Game Slam, here with Sergio for the 28th, I believe, episode of the Pokemon Blue Nuzlocke, and we had some insanity, some Jeremy Lin sanity happening last time. Go watch the last episode if you have not already. I would be remiss to spoil the craziness that ensued. But we're going to open up here. As you see, we are in Silphco with a quick team recap. Starting out with the fan favorite himself, Brian. The level 32 Venomoth. And we also found out Koga did not have a Venomoth. So I'm thinking maybe he did in Gen Two. Next up on the list, Dan, comma, CPA, our licensed Jolteon, level 34. Next up, we have Austin, the powerful level 39 Charizard, followed by Kevin, the level 35 Pidgeotto, who is 1283 from an Evolush. Next up, we have Cornus Boy, the heart and soul, who entrenched his squat form to absorb a self-destruct in the previous episode and we're past spoilers because i already warned you if you didn't go back and last but not least we have joe benny seductively posing the level 34 snorlax so as we saw uh just in this first battle with the team rocket member we are far above uh level against these sylph co people Be and because of that, you're causing all kinds of problems. I want to avoid as many of these goons as we can because the benefit of battling them is looking to be somewhat low. So I'm gonna try to cruise past. Um, but at the same time, this is a good uh, piece of time to spend for our team, sort of revitalizing some members who may not be uh, as well off as some other members. So what I'm hoping for is for Brian and Cornus Boy to reap uh, most of the rewards. This obviously is looking like a great matchup for Cornus Boy, uh, being that it is an Electrode. So we will switch into him and go with the classic. You know, he eats these up. I'm not even scared. He eats these up. Unless it's a crit, I'm not even scared. Yeah, it, even with a crit, okay? I'm not even scared. After what we saw last time, I'm seeing a level 29 Electrode blowing up. Uh, that's not even going to trigger my smoke alarm. So, huh, I lost. You kind of blew yourself up, you Dinwit, you Spencer Dinwitty. We're going to heal him up, though. Uh, I will admit, as the bar went below half, I got a little bit scared. But uh, the goal is to just not show it. And what do I think of the maze? I think that is some questionable architecture because you're really throwing your customers uh, for a difficult time. So we, we literally just went uh, in a circle. That was the guy we dodged. So I'm going to try a different switch. We're just gonna try this one. Uh, is this lift key guy? What's going on, Spiky? I wonder if Sylph is finished. Uh, interestingly, I skipped the dialogue on screen, but the Team Rocket member we finished the last episode next to, uh, he actually said that Sylphco is merging with Team Rocket. So, my question is, are they consolidating under the equity method, or is this a hostile takeover? I'm sure you were wondering the same. Lots of mergers and acquisitions. Ooh, and this is gonna be a battle that gets us nothing. Unfortunately, I'm one of the four Rocket Brothers. I think this was one of those instances where the writers got real tired of quality writing and decided to just have four people say, that they were one of the frickin' Rocket Brothers. So, I don't know if Leech Life's gonna do that much. Uh, no, it's not, it's not. So, as predicted, as expected, little John Rothstein, I am going to switch in to Dan and let him light up the Skull Bat, which did not predict our switch. Thankfully, 
so we are not super sonic and we're gonna go right into the thunder shocks critical hit down goes the Golbat, and a little experience is gonna be shared drowsy not gonna have any physical attacks i think so i'm okay with the screech um but let's see what a thunder shock is doing to you my friend uh pretty good with the critical hit and he does have a physical attack but luckily it's a drowsy and its headbutt is not going to do too much hypno coming out though i do think that's going to be a good switch into who that's a good question let's go to joe benny and see what happens here it's only level 28 so in hindsight not that scary let's just wind up for a skull bash sugar we get fallen asleep what is going on but guess what guess what we got a little ace up our sleeve because how did we catch joe benny we serenaded him with the yaz flute so let's do that again he predicts the yaz flute but i'm just gonna go with a headbutt here trying to get some damage maybe two hit ko haven't run the calc but that is correct nonetheless so we'll eat this confusion and say goodbye to our creepy van friend down goes one of the rocket brothers who says warg brothers i lost and we are still trapped we have a little bit of a maze going on here and like i said i want to just avoid as many trainers as possible unless it looks promising that someone is needed to give us the lift key i'm going to sneak up this corridor anything down here there's a trainer nothing of note i'm going to go upstairs again there's a trainer. We got a book here. What does it say? It's a Pokemon report. Four Pokemon evolve when traded by Link Cable. That would be Graveler, Haunter, Machoke, and drumroll please because I'm forgetting the fourth one, Kadabra. Nothing to see here. Do I know you? What? There shouldn't be any children here. Oh, that was a trainer. I just assumed because you were a freelance street performer that you were not going to battle me. However, I was wrong, and this is a terrible matchup. So we're going to switch you right out, and let's give Kevin a whirl. Was this dumb? Was this dumb? Okay, it wasn't dumb. Uh, I still don't love the amount of HP we're down. That's why I got a little scared. So you're just gonna teleport, okay, interesting. We're gonna go straight for a fly. We're gonna dodge your first actual attack. A little teleport of our own, and one shot. Nice job, my friend. A little split of experience there, and we will keep him in for Mr. Mine. My palms are pretty sweaty. Like, my knees aren't that weak, my arms are not heavy, but my palms are sweaty. Certainly sweaty palms. Light screen, who cares? Uh, and look at those chubby cheeks. That's a pretty, I mean, I don't want to be, I don't want to be mean or anything, but I would assume a BMI of above 30. And he just walled us with that reflect, my goodness. Let's do one more wing attack. Actually send you home. Wow. Okay. And Kevin going 36, thankfully. Sergio defeated the juggler. Oh, goodness. And... Oh goodness, because it is time. Kevin is finally going to evolve and hopefully begin contributing to the team. Hopefully. Don't hold your breath though, don't hold your breath. Look at these veins though, oh my goodness, I'm jacked. I'm jacked, I try not to go sleeveless on the channel because uh, people get real riled up when they see these veins. But I think it is the move. I think that's got to be an important teleport. It's got to be. We're going to dodge you and go right up here to the Lucy. And what do we have down here? Have we, Yep, we battled him already. I'm just going to go all the way up the stairs 
And yeah. See what we see here. We're dodging, we're dodging, so there's nothing there. So we need the lift key to get there. Is this lift key guy? Well, nonetheless, there's a couple held items I would like to get. So I think we should start here and work our way down just so we have some semblance of a strategy and a machoke. Level 33 is no majoke, if you know what I'm saying. Got him. Uh, with that, let's go right into our... Let's go into Austin. We got a little cold here. A little cold. Don't worry about it. It's warm enough that it will be gone soon enough. So hopefully Slash is a two-shot. Yes, it is. Critical Hit Slash is a two-shot and is typically an automatic crit just because of the nature of the move so shout out to gen 1 shenanigans there and the rocket was defeated he's stunned he's stunned and let's see what we got here the carbos nice little addition to our supplement sesh the rare candy the rare candy and tm26 what is tm26 Boot up the TM to contain Earthquake! Yeah, we're teaching that to someone. I mean, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. For some reason, I thought it said not able with him. Uh, this has got to be the move. It's stab, and I don't see why coverage would make more sense uh, necessarily with anyone else. I don't know why we wouldn't just give it to him. So let's do it. Let's do it. He cannot learn any more moves. Yes, he can, though, because we're going to make him forget. Um, Scratch. We'll forget Scratch. Just in case I need to, like, fish for a poison at some point. Cornus Boy learned Earthquake. And I hope I didn't Jimbo that from the standpoint of... Uh, I hope it wasn't in his learn set. I probably should have checked that. But at the very least, he has the move now. And we can continue doing what we were born to do. So I'm going to hit this one. Hang over here. This looks promising. Why? I'm scared. That was some quality advice. We had a scientist there. We're going to dodge him. Go here. And I feel like we are kind of going around in circles. I feel like we are definitely... Okay, we haven't been here, though. We have not been here. Would you dare betray Team Rocket? The answer is yes. So let's battle this man. Probably one of the four Rocket Brothers. We got a good Brian matchup, or at least a decent Brian matchup. So let's see how much we're doing here. Uh, not, not really good. Not a great matchup for our boy. So we're going to swap him for Cornus Boy. He can wall hits pretty well. Unfortunately, pretty on Fort, we won't get to see the Earthquake yet. But we will do... Some slams of the body variety, doing big damage, getting zilch experience. Absolutely zilch. Totally wish you could run from a trainer battle at a time like this. But down goes that Zubat, and we will see a Golbat hit the field, which I will horn drill. Boom! Gone. Gone. Oh! Fat XP for that, though. You traitor. And we will take his money. What's up? Team Rocket is trying to conquer the world with Pokemon. I mean, in a way, so are we. The Rockets came and took over the building. Okay, so this is not a traditional equity method merger. This is something entirely different. Look at him. He's such a coward. That's really mean. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Help me, please. That's pretty mean. Okay, that's pretty mean. Oh, it's one of the four Rocket Brothers. 
Who would not be scared in a terrorist attack? I know I would be shaking in my boots. I'd be shaking in my Tims for sure. Let's put in Austin. We'll put in Austin. Keep the homeboy growing in the level department. Little bit of slash is going to do a lot of bit of damage. Brian growing to 33. That's what we like to see. Hashtag bars. Machoke hitting the field should be no problem as we saw a higher level Machoke that was no problem. So I will finish it off with an Ember here. And down goes Machoke. So as much as I wanted to dodge these trainers, it turns out that has not exactly been the case. Ooh, this looks promising. Eh, anything here? Man, we need that key. We need that key. God is my witness. We will find that key. I don't, I don't know why going there would help us. I'm going to hang a left. Try this switch. How about this one? I've been all these places. I'm definitely going backwards. I think I know the room it looks like when we finally get the key, but I haven't been able to stumble my way upon it yet. So, oh, sugar. I didn't battle this guy yet. I'm getting mad. I'm getting mad. So we're gonna change the subject because I basically just ripped out of this tank top. The palms are more than sweaty at this point. Uh, we're gonna go to Cornish Boy. So, changing the subject because I'm getting mad. I finally finished Zelda Breath of the Wild. Uh, amazing game. That's probably an understatement. I think I ranked it as my second favorite Zelda game of all time. But it's right there in the top three for sure. Um, I couldn't quite make the argument of number one. Uh, but I was torn between Wind Waker and Ocarina. Which one was going to fit the number two and number three. Uh between Breath of the Wild. So anyways, I enjoyed that game a lot. It was very chill. Um, I think the only reason I would rank one of the two above it is because I really enjoyed having the iconic uh, Hyrule Field music and you didn't quite get that. Did I just elevate to the same room? Yeah. <laughs> You didn't quite get that uh, feel in Breath of the Wild because it is so chill. So missing some of the iconic music was a piece. And additionally, um, on the good side, I will say I enjoyed that... Oh gosh, I hate self go. Get me the fudge out of here. Um, I enjoyed that when I put down the game for a while, uh, at times for weeks or a month, um, I could pick it right back up and, uh, typically with the way the map and the quest log is structured, I was able to, uh, have a pretty good feel of what I was doing and could pick it up rather seamlessly. So I did enjoy that aspect of the game. So we're going to switch out of Brian. We're going to go to JB and try to make heads or tails of Sylphco here because we have been taking all the wrong switches. We really have. And this man has four Pokemon. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I'm going to speed it up. I'm going to speed it up because we know how I feel about these trainers. We know how I feel about them. Oh boy. And he's hurting himself now. Wow, that did a lot actually. 
we're probably going to switch out after this one. Uh, regardless of if we hit ourselves or not. That is... Okay, okay, we will switch out now. We will switch out now because we are confused and defenses are lowered. So, let's go to Dan to take on this final Rattata. My goodness. Not a fan of the Silphco. I thought it was going to be fun. I'm not having that much fun. So I am going to complain. Down goes Rocket. Not enough grit calling us out. Well, it turns out my strategy of dodging most of the trainers did not work out even slightly. Uh, thankfully, though, this is a good matchup for Brian. Good-ish. And we're gonna just use a little speed up button action to get him some much deserved experience. And possibly do the same here. Uh, three's not gonna be enough, so we'll go to Dan. We'll go to Dan. But I'm trying to keep getting him experience because if you remember, oh, I remember, uh, he will get Psybeam at some point. Can't remember which level, but it is at some point. So Thundershock gonna take out this Golbat finally. And I mean, really the only unfortunate thing, we are confused, so I'm gonna switch, is I wish we could feel like we were making progress here in Sylphco. And I think we are just about as lost as we were when I walked in. So what I might try to do, I'm not gonna look anything up obviously, I'm not a scrub, but we might uh, want to have me off screen after this episode, find where we're trying to go. And once I get the lift key, continue. But I don't know, I just really feel like I've tried as many of these switches as makes sense. We definitely battled him like first. And what's a floor below this? Because I feel like we haven't been there in a while. That's the entrance, okay. That's the entrance. So this is where we like started last time. And I'm now wondering if we take that switch if that will get me where I want to go. I'm gonna try a few, and then I'm gonna get the heck out of here. Because we're getting more and more lost. Wait a minute. Oh man, I definitely thought that was the one. I'm gonna try a few more just while I'm in sequence here. And because we've battled so many people. Okay, and now we're back to where we started. So I'm actually I'm actually gonna figure this out. I'm actually gonna figure this out. We're gonna try every switch possible until there are none left to try. We've tried every switch on this floor, confirmed. I'm going to move up a floor and try from there. This floor, going down here. I think there's a trainer. Yep. There's a switch down there. We're going to try it. So we're going to call this the scientist floor. I remember him. I didn't battle him because I took a teleporter here. And what I am going to try, uh, we're gonna battle him, move down to the right there, and then end the episode. Because I just have a feeling that battling this guy will bring us some sort of uh, reward. Some sort of reward. So I don't know if Brian's gonna be able to three-shot him. Don't think so. 
we're gonna try anyways and go with tackles from here whoa that did a lot of damage that did a lot of damage boom goes the dynamite we're gonna swap Brian out because he's useless now and I just have a feeling about this corridor oh it's for an item oh there it is there it is okay boys and girls well thankfully on that note we can end knowing that we're going somewhere oh the places we will go next episode so thank you for your patience thank you for being with me all that time we will close out silfco next episode now that we have the proper credentials to move around so with that i'm gonna get out of here game slam signing off